I've wanted to see this for so long. I'm in Bruges, it's in Belgium. Morning guys. Phase one of Bruges day completed. I'm out of bed. Just waiting for the tram into Brussels Midi now. It is early. And then from there I'm gonna need coffee. <laughs> and then we on the way to Bruges. in Belgium. Got a coffee, good sign is that it's still dark so I'm not too late just yet. Uh, gonna start walking into the more historical centre of Bruges. So yeah, gonna start walking, try and find some nice locations, ideally on the water, ready for some rice. So, I'm in the main square, you might be able to see behind me, behind the post, it's the main belfry, or belfry. Uh, anyone who knows me will probably know that I love the film In Bruges, and this is a pretty key part of the film, area wise. It's pretty busy already, obviously it's a fair sized city. Lots of hotels and restaurants all restocking. Um, by the look of it, it's market day as well. So, it'll be a pretty busy area later on. Might be right for some street work through the 20mm lens on. But I'm not going to stay here right now. I'm going to find a canal scene ready for sunrise. Finish my coffee, so let's get to it. the quality of this section is so dark. Pretty sure this is one of the main photo points on the canals here. Uh, I'm the only one here so far. At the moment it doesn't really have quite the same effect with the nice delivery van sat on the bridge over there. It's meant to be cloudy, I don't know what sort of light we're going to get. Believe the sun will be rising your direction that way, so we might get the first light on the buildings behind me. But gonna have a bit more of a wonder anyway first. Got some time, but I can always come back here. So yeah, let's go for wonder. Move a bit further down the river. Uh, 
again, it's not looking anything extraordinary, to be honest with you. I'll probably end up heading back to the last place I was at. Um, I think from what I've seen in other pictures, at night time, all the buildings are nicely lit up and everything. And then I'm guessing probably like four or five o'clock in the morning, they switch them all off. <laughs> So it's not quite as interesting right now as it might have been last night. But there we are. We'll make do with what we've got. It is also now starting to brighten up a bit. All the lights have started switching off. There is no detail at all in the sky. It's just flat, grey. I might try a couple of filter shots, but I can't see anything amazing turning up really. is all about the light. So I tried a couple of long exposures using the four stop and six stop filters. Um, yeah. I'll put them on the screen, see what we've got. Now I've always also just realised I've had to change one battery. I've got three in total. I've brought my charger and my power bank, but I didn't bring the charging cable. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my battery usage today. I think now I'm just gonna throw on the 20 mil, have a wander about, grab some coffee, some breakfast. So apparently this is the best way cafe in Bruges. But they're closed on Wednesdays. Hi guys, so I've been trying to save my battery but I've very nearly finished my second one out of three. I think it's about to die. Um, Going to head off from Bruges soon, head to the train station, get a ticket to Ghent. Uh, yeah, it died. As I was saying, going to head off to Ghent pretty soon. Uh, hopefully the sky might be a bit more interesting for sunset but we'll have to see. Bruges has been pretty cool. Far better off getting there early like I did. I was the only person there at that location this morning. When I walked past again about an hour ago, it was heaving. So many tourists around 
the place. But yeah, I think it's worth checking out Bruges. Um, architecture's really cool, very gothic. I've drunk a lot of coffee so far. I've eaten a fair bit of pastry <laughs> as well. I've not had any fresh waffles yet, but I'll be in Brussels centre itself tomorrow. So, it's going to happen. So yeah, let's see what Ghent has in store for us tonight. Let's go.